Hi everyone, my name is Brittany. I'm a family nurse practitioner with SMMP Reviews. And in today's video, we are going to focus on the diagnosis and management of generalized anxiety disorder in adults in the primary care setting. For a deeper dive into the need to know information about anxiety and other mental health conditions, I suggest checking out our review courses that cover these topics more in depth. Let's go ahead and dive in. Anxiety is a normal emotion when it is experienced temporarily and in proportion to acute stressors. Generalized anxiety disorder is when the symptoms of worry are more chronic and interfere with daily life. What are some common symptoms of anxiety? One way to remember those common symptoms is the mnemonic WATCHERS. This stands for worry, anxiety, tension, concentration, hyperarousal, energy loss, restlessness, and sleep disturbance. To make that formal diagnosis, we are going to refer to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition text revision, or that DSM-5 TR, which states symptoms must be present for more days than not for at least six months. Okay, so who should we screen for anxiety? The United States Preventive Services Task Force, or the USPSTF, recommends screening all adults ages 18 to 64 for anxiety disorders. A good rule is to screen adults who have never been screened before and consider additional screening for those with risk factors. What screening tool is commonly used for anxiety screening? We can use that Generalized Anxiety Disorder 2 Item Scale, or the GAD2, which is a focused assessment, including two questions. If the patient has a score of three or greater, this would warrant further assessment. Which screening tool could we move on to next? That would be that GAD-7, which includes five additional questions. And in that GAD-7, the total score cutoff is five or greater for mild anxiety, 10 or greater for moderate anxiety, and 15 or greater for severe anxiety. What are some of the differentials we should consider with symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder? Do you have any ideas? Well, we certainly would want to think about panic disorder if our patient tells us about times of intense anxiety with super fast onset, or when a particular worry is associated with a compulsion, we would want to consider obsessive compulsive disorder as a differential as well. Other differentials might include situational anxiety, specific phobias, and bipolar disorder. What endocrine condition can present with symptoms of anxiety? That would be hyperthyroidism. Once the diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder is made, you'll want to discuss treatment options. Do you know what this might entail? We always want to practice shared decision-making because the best treatment options are going to be the ones that the patients are comfortable with. Generally speaking, treatment should include psychotherapy and or medications. Cognitive behavioral therapy is recognized as the preferred psychotherapy for patients experiencing generalized anxiety disorder. What medications are considered first-line treatment? That's going to be those selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or those SSRIs, such as escitalopram or Lexapro, and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or those SNRIs, like duloxetine or Cymbalta. Those are the preferred initial pharmacotherapy in the treatment of generalized anxiety disorder. As clinicians, we want to tailor the treatment plan for each particular patient. And here are the references that we used in this video. And that wraps up anxiety and primary care. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this video made diagnosing and managing generalized anxiety disorder a little less intimidating for your board exam, but also for your future practice. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest videos. And we also have that free community of students who are preparing for exams that you can check out. That group is linked here in the description. We want to support you on your journey to becoming the real deal NP. You can do this.